What's up guys? I haven't vlogged anything all week because I've been packaging fractals orders. So I dropped all these on my Instagram. I haven't even mentioned them on YouTube yet and pretty much sold everything out. So all those are sold. So I've been writing thank you notes. It took me three days to write like all these thank you notes. There's so many. And now I'm just gonna package them all. So that's what I've been up to. <laughs> oh yeah, I added UV lights to my roof too. That's all. What up dudes? Haven't been vlogging too much lately because I've been just doing fractals orders, making some money so I can build up my Twitch setup in the in, in my bedroom. I'm not sure if I've talked about any of this yet in video, but yeah, I don't know when you're going to see this. Every day is different. Every week I have new things. I haven't even done the house tour yet because I'm still decorating my room. I'm just out here. Out here in the fields. It's like the only place that I can come and be away from everyone else. Like, look how pretty it is. And this is why I come down here. I'm also looking for snakes. I saw one today. I didn't manage to catch it though. But yeah, I've been coming down here to write thank you notes to everyone that buys anything from my shop. So if you've ever bought anything, you probably would have had a note from me. Sometimes it takes me ages because I get distracted. But down here, down here there was no distractions really. I mean, a few bugs kept landing on me. Ants were trying to crawl up my butthole. But other than that, no distractions. I got it all done. So yeah, whenever I do a fractal drop, I'll come down here now and just write. It's really nice for sunbathing for a while. I'm gonna go home now, package all these orders. I spent a stupid amount of money on a keyboard and mouse last night. So that's gonna be here tomorrow. I've never played video games on a key keyboard and mouse, but seeing as I'm going for a streaming setup, I'm building a PC. I'm gonna switch to PC gaming. I'm done with the controllers, they're too restrictive. I'll make a whole video about it when I uh, make the switch, but it's arriving tomorrow, I'm very excited. Okay, I go home now. What's up guys? Haven't been vlogging lately because I've just been working hard on uh, on this, on my store, getting some funds together so I can build my Twitch setup over there. Ah, but yeah, all these are going out today. They're all, all going to new homes. These beautiful things. I'll show you what I got here. Yeah. These are really nice. I just got a bunch more of these, like 200 more are on the way. These are all gone. These have all been sold. All these have been sold. Very nice. I drew all these ones myself. Yes, thank you. Anybody that's been supporting Fractals. Been keeping me busy, and uh, yeah, because of you, I get to build my Twitch setup, and then I get to make more fun time for you. So it's a new day. I was editing this video, my edible video, but then this arrived, this chair, and uh, the instructions are in Spanish. So I've got this. I've got a friend on Instagram called Venus, who is helping me translate everything and figure this out. Uh, it's fun. I don't know what I'm doing, but uh, it's coming along. I am done. I have seat. I'm not quite sure about these straps, I feel like they're not supposed to be there, but they're there for now, so I can figure out where they're supposed to be. Ah, nice. I have never, ever in my whole life owned a chair like this, like a, a gaming chair, desk chair, cat type thing. It's not one of the super expensive ones, it was like 120 euros. It works, I mean, this is all I need. It's way better than what I was using. Ah, so now, for my setup, I need a PC. Second monitor, then maybe a nice microphone or something, but yeah, everything's coming along. I don't know if I showed this yet. This is my my Razer Huntsman Mini and my mouse, but uh, I'll, I'll explain about that. I want to do like a bedroom setup tour thing. Oh yeah, and Dice painted this for me. It's me in like a mushroom land. Yeah, lots of updates. I'll, I've got I've got to go to the post office now to post like 50 packages, so I'm gonna go do that and then uh, back to work. <laughs> How are we going to get that in there? I have no idea. <laughs> I'm, buying, I'm buying some shelves from my, ha my room. I don't know if this is going to fit in the car. I mean, we can try. If it doesn't fit, <laughs> bring it back. Spoons. <laughs> found some wheels. I found wheels. Nice. <laughs> <Right now. laughs> oh, that's nice. Mm. Mm, that's cool. I like that one. <laughs> Whoa! Oh. You've never been in a abandoned place before. No, why? The whole idea is to be quiet <laughs> so we get caught. <laughs> back. We're back at my favorite abandoned spot. I realized I need a new lens. When I was tripping the other day I broke it. it scratched even worse than it is. I need a new microphone. I've been given a couple shirts. This one and another one that's in my bag. And I want to take some Instagrams. 
for the companies. Give me some promo. It's over there. It's the doorway. <laughs> I just lost myself then. <laughs> Swore. So, so many bugs. You did a swore. We did a swear jar. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> it moved on its own. Is <laughs> that fast enough? <laughs> so we went to IKEA, got these, we made one. I bled a lot for it. I don't know why I keep bleeding. Everything is bleeding. That's one of them, heck yeah. All right, got a second one to make. But you're gonna go. Yeah, this is good. Jody, by the way, I haven't introduced Hi. you before. She is the first English friend I had out here. Or the first, first friend I had out here. English, English Jody. So I have the second one and the plant. I might have space to be next to them both. So I can probably keep the plant where it is. Like it'll fit in that gap quite nicely, yeah, I think. And then I can finally get all this crap off the floor. You trust me with this? Yeah. It's not straight. I don't want to like... <laughs> I feel like I'm breaking it a little bit. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> it has a button to pull it back out again if you do it wrong. <laughs> the worst shot ever. <laughs> Power drill. Whoa, do you see that? What? Oh no. We didn't, we didn't <laughs> dust it. Oh what? Oh my god. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> disgusting. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> It's me struggling. I don't know, do I? Yeah. It's pretty easy to do. I like it. It's like big boy Lego. You're doing stuff. Oh, no. I did it. <laughs> so it's done, but there's this annoying gap right in the middle, and I don't know why. So one of them is off balance, I guess. I don't know. I'm just gonna I'm gonna fill these now and see how it looks. All right, what's up, guys? Very sunny today. I wanted to come out here today just to talk to you guys a bit, kind of honestly about how I'm feeling about the main channel. Obviously, I don't post very much, and the reason for that is because, well, the content I like to make isn't suitable for YouTube. There's obviously other websites like BitChute, uh, WeedTube. I'm gonna start posting on. So all the drug content that I've already made and the stuff that I'm currently making is gonna be re-uploaded over there. Like I just wanted to talk about it. I don't really know what to do about my second, my main channel, the V3rd Eye channel. So I hit half a million subs and then stopped posting. Obviously lost a few subs. But as a result of not posting, I've basically murdered the channel. It's almost impossible to be recommended on that channel now. So the videos just don't get any views. And it's frustrating because everything I post on there usually gets demonetized, which means it doesn't get recommended to anyone. No new people are ever going to find me. It's a bit disheartening because that's how YouTubers grow, is they get the ads and then they get recommended and then they use that ad revenue to reinvest back into videos and make the videos better. I don't know what kind of content I can make that feels true to me, that is monetizable for the main channel. Because the main channel, I want to talk about consciousness, psychedelics. I want to show how to make edibles, stuff like that, you know? The fun stuff. I don't want that channel to be, to be boring. I'm just murdering it. I'm murdering my own channel and I don't know what to do about it. So I guess I'm, I'm here to talk about it. <laughs> so, I, so you guys know how I feel and I wanna make this an open discussion. What do we do with the main channel? Because the second channel luckily isn't blacklisted. The main channel is 100% blacklisted. It's not gonna be recommended to anyone. That's why the views on there are so low. I've been a lot more consistent with my second channel because it's not blacklisted. So the ads still run which means I still make money from this channel. Obviously YouTube isn't, isn't all about money, but if you're not growing, it just feels like a waste of time because I'm trying to reach new audiences all the time and if I can't do that, I'm being left in the dirt. Like I'm gonna be forgotten about, I'm gonna be one of those dead channels. Obviously I am not dead. YouTube is still the biggest hobby that I have. I don't call it my job anymore because it's not my job anymore. My job is making things for my website, like jewelry, necklaces, pants, whatever I feel like making. 
creating stuff. Creating stuff is my job. But YouTube is now just a hobby. And it's a hobby that I struggle with because everything I do gets demonetized. My last two videos, the acid video and the weed, weed video, obviously were demonetized immediately. So they're not gonna grow beyond a few thousand views, probably. They're just gonna be stagnant there for a while now. And it's frustrating. I'm like, what do I do? What is the solution? Does anyone know? This is a struggle that I have. And it seems like other drug channels have figured it out. My friend Drew, he's getting millions of views now. All his videos do great. And I don't know how he's doing it because I put the same disclaimer. He said I could copy his disclaimer, put it at the beginning of my video, and it didn't do anything. The video was still immediately demonetized, not shared to anyone. For the few thousand people that actually do watch those videos, thank you so much. I really enjoy making them and I hope it comes through in the videos. I don't know if I can continue it because I'm just pushing my channel further and further and further into this blacklist that it belongs in, where YouTube just say, this channel is not safe. And it's frustrating. They want to be able to post freely. For some reason my battery died and I had to come back home. So I'll be making a bit shoot and a weird YouTube account and posting all my old drug stuff and anything new related to drugs on there. I don't know if I'm going to continue posting on the main channel with the drug stuff, but then I don't know what to do with the main channel because that's all I wanted to post there. How has Psych Substance garnered 2 million subscribers talking about drugs? I just don't get it. I don't know how he's doing it. If anyone knows the secret, please tell me. Because it's so disheartening that I just I want to give up constantly with the main channel and I don't want to feel like that. I used to really love posting each Friday. I knew that I had a week to make a video and it had to go out on Friday. I loved that feeling, that, that grind, that, that drive to make stuff. And I don't have that anymore because I'm so worried that I'm going to post something each week, it's going to get no views and then I'm going to run out of money because I'm putting so much effort into making these videos that no one gets to watch. And it's not that people don't want to watch them, it's just that they're not being pushed to anyone. They're not to the subs, not to new people. Can't grow like that. That's just my thoughts, I guess. So that's that's all I wanted to share for, for now. I've got to continue filling my shelves now because I've built them. And then yesterday I was too tired to actually finish stacking them with stuff. I need some ideas of what to do with the main channel. Um, I don't need video suggestions. I just want to know where to put the content that I want to make. I want to make the edible videos. Like, uh, I've got some more weed now to make the next episode of the edible show. I'm worried that it's gonna screw me. If there was an option to make all my drug content 18 plus, but you could have ads on it, and it would be shared to people, then great, I'll do that. It's not like I want underage people to watch the content that I'm making. That content, anyway. The rest of my content is PG, so it's fine. Like, anyone can watch it. But the drug stuff, I don't mind doing it for 18 plus as long as it gets shared. As long as YouTube is recommending it. If people are interacting and it's being recommended like it should be, I feel like that's fair. But at the moment, it's like, it'll get a couple hundred likes, and it'll just die. It won't be pushed to anyone. It's frustrating. Is it a me problem or is it just the fact that YouTube hates weed? Because it seems like that's the case. Or well, maybe it hates me. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't blame them if they hated me. I used to hate me. I don't anymore. Now I love me. Me is doing good now. <laughs> me is trying. Me is trying his best. Why am I speaking in first person to myself? I'm very confused. <laughs> okay, yeah, I waste enough time. I'm so hungry. I'm so flipping hungry. The stores aren't open on Sundays, so you can't go and buy food. Uh, I forgot that it was Sunday today, so I didn't go and stock up last night. Also, I was building the shelves last night. I was so tired. I I've, I cut my finger cutting cucumber last night. <laughs> how how did, how is a butter knife that sharp that you can just slice through my finger? And every time I, every time I take the plaster off, it just keeps keep bleeding. I needed to get that off my chest, guys. I just needed to talk. My eyes have been so bloodshot this week because well, I rubbed them first of all, but I'm getting about six hours of sleep each night. So it doesn't matter what time I go to bed, I'll wake up six hours later. My body won't, won't allow me to have eight. It's really frustrating. So my eyes just sting all the time. Uh, and constantly, constantly bloodshot. I need to get some eye drops, I believe, but I don't know if that's going to help the sleep. It'll just help the eyes. It's also very dry here, so there's a lot of dust in the air. I'm still getting used to it. All right, that took me a little bit, but my room is now clean. Obviously, there's no art in the walls. My, my trippy bedding hasn't arrived, but everything is neat, put away as it should be, almost, it's almost 100%. So let me show you around. So got obviously my desk, some crystals that I haven't sold yet, uh, just my laptop set up, then we got my gaming set up. I watch a lot of YouTube on this thing, all my crystals, Ikea cactus, more rocks and crystals and stuff. They probably won't live here forever, but for now they're staying here. Post-it notes, this is gonna be hooked on here when I find a hook, probably tomorrow, and then th this will be hanging here no longer just sitting up there. Um, some more art people have sent from a PO box. I've got all these things to stick up as well. These are like old photos of me as a, as a boy, some art, 
just memory stuff that's going to go up along the door. I'm going to have tapestries here, tapestries here, tapestry there. And then I don't know, probably a whiteboard here so that I can like use this wall for work. Arts everywhere else. And then art along here as well. And then this is going to be like the backdrop of my Twitch setup. So obviously the light's not going to be white. I'll turn that off. So this is what it looks like for me. So there's going to be a lot of trippy art on the wall to make it a lot brighter. And then I'll have, I'll have some sort of light here also to make it a bit more trippy. But yeah, it feels nice to have a clean room. Like I haven't seen this part of the floor since I moved in. Just had all this stuff on it. So all right, this is this is what I've been working on. So this is like basically just all my stuff that I've collected and not really done anything with. And then obviously all my clothes. So I don't own much. This is this is it. My books, my old CDs, DVDs, old games, stuff that I don't even play or use anymore. I just have it for like memories. Eventually yeah, I might put some practical use to it. Got my Pokemon cards. I'm pretty sure this this binder itself is pretty old. It's from like 1999, and it has all my cards in. And my old consoles, the first Xbox I ever owned, was a, like a white Christmas edition OG one, and then obviously my 360. I had another 360 which I gave my sister. PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2 which I owned. This is everything. <laughs> and we get some more plants in here to fill out some of the floor space a bit more. This is just all my work stuff over here in this corner. And then all my backpacks are over here. And that's it. So that's what I've been doing. Now that I'm done with all that, I'm gonna end the vlog here. Thank you for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Let's start this discussion about what to do with the main channel because I, I really have no idea. And it's frustrating because I'm just thinking too hard on my own. I need more brains to help me work this out. So if you've got any suggestions. I'm definitely gonna make a BitChute account, a WeTube account. That'll all be up hopefully tomorrow. But I'll make a video about that and then link you to it and stuff like that. Wow, I feel a lot more organized. I'm starving. I haven't eaten anything since cereal this morning. So I'm gonna go do that. It's probably nighttime now as well. Feels good in here. See you next time in the next video. Bye-bye.